Uh, I wonder what game we're going to be playing this evening. It looks like, uh, what's it called? Dead Space? <laughs> Dead Space with furries. <laughs> okay. And in Paris. This is uh, a game I'm quite fond of that I never finished, so we're going to attack this one and I'm going to have a good time and it's going to be great. <laughs> uh, it says press start to resume games. No, that's because we're using my memory card, so hit select and then... Oh, wait, I just pressed start. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really glad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Goodbye. Um, okay, hit A. Or X. Whatever. Uh, goodbye. Uh, no, no, just no, no, I hit X and it went there. It's just... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um. Load game. Here we go. Oh, here we go. This oh. is the one that. For one second, I accidentally started it. I guess. <laughs> one entire second. Oh, uh, this is the second worst part of the game. <laughs> is the turtle? Very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm a thief here. I've got to steal that. Sly's actually me. Get over it. Yeah. <laughs> Sly's a really great protagonist just because he's so cool. Like he's not he's not like Spyro where he's running around and screaming really loud. He's he's got it all under control. <laughs> On the other hand, Bentley er is a Yeah. And then uh, your sidekicks are a little uh yeah. Do people even have teeth like that? Or it's just like one? <laughs> it's a hippo, I don't know what you're... Yeah, but it's only one, and it's not even a real hippo tooth, it's just sort of like the generic extra tooth. Alright, alright. Well... That's a mattress, you can jump on those to gain height. Boing. There you go. Uh, Whack some that... things, hit circle. There you go. You can pretty much destroy anything that's sticking out. <gasps> and then when you pick up coins, that's your thing. Well, uh, can I buy things with the coins? No, uh, well, when you get to 100 coins, you get another life. Or, no, you get another chance. Because you can only chance. get hit- you get You can only get hit once in this game. It's unlike platform- other platformers in which, like- hey, Oh, here we go. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? Is it? Oh, you- if you wiggle these around, you can move their faces. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the ocarina! <laughs> okay, basically, oh yeah. When you see sp sparkles, hit circle and you'll do a thing. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yeah, see, he understands the buttons for some reason. Yeah, that happens. I love the sounds in this game. That's cute. But no, when you get- you can only get hit once in this game before you die. So if you collect a hundred- oh, uh, turn around for a sec, just hop up on the vent. Real quick, see if there's anything up there. Ooh, ooh. Might be a horseshoe or something. I love the way he moves. Um... Uh, no, no okay. I just wanted to check. <gasps> I can move the camera in this oh, game! Oh yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> Doesn't that feel so refreshing? <laughs> and, and unlike Spyro, where you're just like, I don't know, trying to- And I green of time. Uh, ooh. Okay. Um, lasers. You, that's okay. You can step out. They'll tell you what's. They'll tell you what's on the go. See the coin over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got it. You can jump. I think. No. Yeah. Oh, double. You can double jump and like flip, and you'll get some more distance. All right. Um, that little fire hydrant thing is what's controlling the lasers. So do I want. To you go. You want to jump over there and kill it. You can just whack it with your stick. <laughs> Just perch or on just it. perch on it. Uh, his animations are so good. Um, yeah. Um, alright. This, this game, after after playing Spyro, this game is kind of a, a shift because, um, there is usually, there's very little that will be hidden behind you. Like, Spyro, you're like, oh, I should turn around and grab those gems behind me, but usually if your camera's pointed forward, that's the way you should go. Red door. Yeah. Can I, uh, door. Is there anything you else can, in here? Yeah, there's nothing down here, so you can just sort of explore. There's no one's gonna catch you. It's the first level. <laughs> and well, there's literally nothing down here. Yeah. <laughs> See, this double jump looks pretty good. Yeah. Although in other games, it's like jump, jump and jump. then you like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you just sort of awkward. gain height. Oh, I. Whoa. No. Oh, the those shot. windows open. Oh, gee. Oh, this camera's just. These angles are really nice. Doop, 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 mm -hmm. doop. 
Can we just leave the window open? Yeah. <laughs> you know? I like the papers. Yeah. That happens a lot. Oh. There's an entire area where it's like a, a casino, oh. and so you can whack the stacks of money, and they just go flying, oh. and the poker chips go flying. <laughs> oh, you can hit that bo glass bottle that's on the. Oh, oh never oh, mind. Okay. <laughs> Tutorial levels! Aren't they just the greatest? Mm -hmm. So entertaining. This is one of the more tedious parts of the game. Like, they actually make you dial in the code. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can- Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Then, okay, you can dial it the other way to yeah. get the nine immediately. There you go. Nine. <laughs> Three. And then, the time between safes is enough so that you'll forget which- if it's up or down. Oh. <laughs> you'll forget if the controls are reversed, so you'll be, like, fucking with it, like, uh. <laughs> You got it! You got it! His glasses are moving with his yeah. eyes. <laughs> uh, we waiting in the getaway van. Yeah, that's the one thing I'll give. I'll give Spyro that the fact that it um, it wasn't really like story heavy with its takeover modes. If if you got taken, you only got taken over uh, when you freed a dragon or something. But in this game, they take control away from you a lot. Oh, here we go. Love interest. What? Carlita, I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the I hate her voice. Oh, yeah. I was gonna give it to you as a little token of like, Sly's voice is really good. Um, the villain's voices are usually pretty good. But, um... Yeah, her, her voice actually just did not get paid enough or something. <laughs> you give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat. I just dropped by to pick up this case. There's a size of that. <laughs> okay, she's you probably won't get hit, but keep on the move. Oh, 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 oh. Having a good time. There's a lot of um like alleyway running that happens in, at least in later levels. I can't speak for the entire game because like I said I never finished it. So it's it'll be an adventure for all of us. This is one of the rare cases where- this this game is mine, but my little brother completed it before I did. And so he's been trying to tell me all about it. I'm like, Ricky, no, no, just let me play the game. <laughs> Curse you, Sly! <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. I like this animation. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this, I can avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. Exposition. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Phoebus Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially yeah. sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. <sighs> My father fought to protect us, but a of villains known as the Fiendish Five oh, overpowered no. him and ransacked our house until they found the Phoebeus Raccoonus. <gasps> our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Gee, I wonder what each of the levels will be. Yeah, <laughs> it's a mystery. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the Phoenix. Full-time what? Burden. Oh. <laughs> That's that's stellar. This test of my life. On this mission, I will either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or those are cool poses. What? Dust. <laughs> Someone just had a lot of fun drawing anthro raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut up, Bentley. Getting cold there, buddy. <laughs> Did he just turn into Bill Cosby right there? <laughs> this game would be like eight times 
seems more interesting. Talk to Murray. Okay, I guess that's, <laughs> this is all we can. Do. No, you gotta go back to the map. And uh, there's an X to start a mission. Should I start the mission? Uh, no. Let's just hang out here for five minutes. Okay. So how's your love life? It's uh. <laughs> oh, 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 that's cold. Give me that. <laughs> South America looks a little fucked up there. Oh, oh more of this. I see it. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. Ooh, he's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. Oh. On a whim, Check your frog he tried privilege. his hand in a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became I love this time, was brought into the fiendish five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. He's not even anthropomorphic. He's no, he's great. <laughs> it's like they couldn't think of any creative ways to turn a frog sort of humanoid. <laughs> just, just make him a frog. Just give him a head. It's like a win. Tide of... God damn it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can remember how to do this level. This if I if I recall getting into this game was a bit of a challenge because it's a bit different from other platformers. This whole episode is just gonna be Bentley <laughs> talking. <laughs> I like how he even has like a bow tie. Like they were like, "What's a, what does a nerd look like?" And they're like, "I don't know. It's been a really long time since I've been in high school." <laughs> Pipes and ropes. <laughs> I don't know why the bottles move. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Why was that happening? Shut up. I can do this. I don't need your help. So what does Murray do? do? Is he He's the driver. Is he completely useless? He's the van driver, and he is involved in some of my least favorite mini-games. Uh, like, this- Okay, so I said Bentley was the second worst part of this game. The first worst part of this game is the mini-games that are you are required to complete um, to- uh, move on, and I have a feeling that we're gonna do one episode of those, uh, mm -hmm. of us failing, and then we're gonna have to complete every single one of them off screen. Oh, come on. Ah, yeah, circle. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so he is a burden. Yes. <laughs> and you have to protect him, I think, if, like if he dies. Oh, good. Ugh, tutorials. Gee. A cute. <laughs> Acute combustion. For some reason, spotlights are also lasers in this game. Just FYI, they've come that far, technologically speaking. Uh, Checkpoint your progress. Nice. Sly's just so chill, though. Like that makes this game worth it. Sly's just like, yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, man, put on some smooth jazz. And that's <laughs> it. Fuck. All right, shut up. You didn't combust. I did not combust. You get one chance. Ah, oh. fuck me. Yeah, see, you die immediately if you get it, which gets well, really frustrating. I mean, that's, that makes sense, because he's a thief, not like a... Yeah, he's not like some kind of bara, like... But for some reason, Spyro can get hit three times, and he's okay. Four times in some games. I'm not gonna go collecting more coins. That's just a waste of my time. Okay. Okay. Just trying to get back into the groove of this after playing Spyro is kind of a... Gotta get all the coins! <laughs> no, 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 you really don't, no, we Rachel. Don't. <laughs> okay, um... I'm just gonna... not do that. Oh, I see, those were like thorn yeah. plants. I'm like, why don't you just go through those? Ugh, I miss, I miss the upgrades. Um... Well, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, I promise we'll get a little bit more progress in. <laughs> Later! <coughs>